Okay, I don't know that this is a good idea. Well, find out. Don't go anywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. This is. Go, go, go! Oh my gosh, go! This was a horrible idea. Horrible idea. Hey guys, it's me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do it. Start again. It's me, Aubrey and Melissa from Fun and Crazy Kids, and today we're doing something super scary very scary it's another urban legend that this one we've been waiting to do this for like two years you yeah, guys it's, it's like far away from our house yeah so we're having to do a road trip today so we are going to investigate the legend of cry baby Bridge. i know okay so aubrey you want to tell them the story yeah sure okay okay so we're here at a truck stop and we stopped so aubrey could tell you the legend so i will tell you this I have looked for Cryberry Bridge before and I've had a hard time finding it, but I found out. What was that? Uh, I don't Did know. you hear that? That's a bad start. Okay. I'm telling you guys, we're in the truck stuff. All right. Also, guys, you might be wondering, what are you wearing? Well, I just, I go to a private school, so I have uniforms. And so we literally just got out of school and we're heading on the road trip. Yes. Because it's a Friday. So this is the Crybaby Bridge here in Oklahoma. Yes. So. According to local legend, a Katusa woman raced across Old Boggy Creek Bridge on Friday, June 13th, 1924. <gasps> that that's close to right now. Yes. A fierce storm had broken out and the woman was trying to hurry home. The only other passenger, her newborn baby, which rested in the seat beside her. As mother and child crossed the bridge, a crackle of lightning frightened the horse out of pulling her carriage. They bucked widely and tipped the carriage over. During the chaos, the mother lost hold of her infant as she frantically searched the bridge, yelling for help in the pouring rain. She heard her baby let out a cry from the river below. She leaned over the edge of the damaged bridge and in doing so, lost her footing and fell into the river. The mother and child were never seen again. It is said that if you go out to the old Boggy Creek Bridge on a Friday, you can still hear the baby crying. So that is why we are it's heading Friday. Friday. Okay, it's Friday after school. Friday. Yay. Okay, so we're at the truck stop. We're getting on the highway. We've got some snacks, but we're gonna stop at Quick Trip. Quick Trip to get, get a drink. Because we always get a drink. Yes. That is our thing. That's right. All right, let's go let's investigate go. Cry Baby Bridge. Okay, guys, we're on our way. It's weird. it's so scary over here. It is. I hope that we don't get lost because yeah, that's gonna be like it looks like there's nothing around. Bob wire. Oh, Bob oh, wire. That's there. inviting. Well, over there's where the Cry Baby Bridge is. Oh. oh! Oh, can you guys see it, guys? Guys, guys, give this video a like if you can see it. That's not the Crybaby Bridge, no. but it looks like that. Oh. This is like all, like you have to go walk to it, hike to it. Oh. Yeah, it's not easy to find. Well, fun, okay. Yeah, the next stop sign. Guess everybody's going to Crybaby Bridge. Can I get a, yeah? <laughs> no, it's like off, it's like off in wooded areas like that. We're gonna have to hike and find it. Oh. Well, gotta go through traffic first. Road, road closed. closed, dead end. No, three tr I told you, it's like way. Da, out da, here. Da. This may be a bad idea. Maybe. Road closed. This Security is cameras. What in the wild? Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. Look how creepy the woods are. Is this no. Okay, Aubrey's changing her shoes. I'm super, we're super scared because there's a, like a roadblock sign. Yeah, so hopefully we don't. So hopefully, I don't know that they want people to go here because it's Crab Baby Bridge, but. Oh, my fingers. All right. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, wish us luck. Why do we always do this? I don't okay. know. All right, let's go check. Okay, I don't know that this is a good idea. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, we're out. It's beautiful out here, though. It is. It is beautiful. But the bridge is That's up here. Okay, let's hurry. Let's hurry. You're already scaring me. Somehow, I'm not sure. This is scary. It's okay. Uh, okay, all right. All right, let's do this. <laughs> But what was that? You I don't it? know, because it scared me. I dropped my phone. I don't know, but it's beautiful up there. It's squirrels in the tree. Is it? Okay. All right. I know, I just saw that. That's terrifying. 
I don't see a bridge over here. Is this like a trick? Um, well, it looks like there's like water Is it over, over there? there. I don't know. Let's go check. Okay. Okay. This looks, this doesn't look right. I don't know that this is right. Okay, private property, fisherman parking. I don't know, I feel like. This is, you think over there? No, there's no bridge over there. The bridge would be like, and this doesn't look like where any of the videos that we saw, like pictures. It's like it's over a lake. Yeah, oh, but it's a bridge. Let's go. Um, I think it's down that way. But I am. It's like people stop. I'm not going. A man. People try to find the guy breaking and come over here. Okay, you stay right stop. here. You stay right here. I'm gonna peek up there and see. Well, that's not gonna help me if a man comes out and grabs me and takes my stuff. Okay, you stay here. I'm just gonna peek right here. Don't go anywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. This is so... Okay. I'm gonna look real quick. Yeah, I think this is where it's at. Go. Go. Aubrey? Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh. Aubrey. Aubrey, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <gasps> Seriously? Okay. We're going to... Something's moving in that... Seriously? Oh my god, I just saw it. Go. 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 No! Oh my gosh, go. This was a horrible idea. Horrible idea. Go. Go. Is it behind me? I don't want to look. Aubrey, is it behind me? Okay. Oh my goodness, I think I saw somebody. I'm not kidding. Go. Hang on. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. This is scaring me. Well, I, I don't think we're in the right spot. What is this? I don't know. Go. Where's the car? This is the scariest thing I've ever done. This is like the, the hills have eyes. The hills have eyes. Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. What? No, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. It's this like was so scary. Rolling. It's probably like way over that way. Okay. All right. I don't know where we're at, but I think we took a wrong turn. I think we did. But you guys, I think that Crybaby Bridge was like down that deep road where we saw something move. But we're not going we're down not there. Going. We're not going down there. Do we? Should we bring Dad back? I think so. Because did you see like like there was like little. Underneath the patio, it was like office chairs and then like an office meeting chair and a... Table. Maybe it's so just a weird. dump. It may just be a dump, but... No, because it was like set up. I don't know, if but... If it was a dump, then it would just be soft put, but it was set up in like a little... I don't know, but there was something behind that bush. I mean, it I don't know. Moving. We was moving, and it was like tall enough like a man. So, rewind the video, let us know what you see, and if you want us to take Jeremy back so we can go further and actually go on the Crybaby Bridge, let us know in the comments Give us your like below. and subscribe and let us know in the comments. All right, so. guys. Watch other videos. Bye. Tarantula Man is real. That's my foot. Don't. I'm not kidding. Like, I looked back. There's a hole right next to your foot. <laughs> Frank, don't leave me out here in the middle of the woods by myself. Aubrey. Oh, my God. Are gone. <gasps> oh my goodness. They were like twitching. Like, hey guys, it's me, Aubrey from Funny Crazy Kids, and today we are doing a urban legend. Dun, dun, dun. It's gonna be a crazy one. So before I tell you what it's gonna be, guys, give this video like and subscribe in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so today we are investigating the tarantula man. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. So this is a true story, guys. True. So we are out here in the middle of the woods yep. forest area because yep. there have been so many tarantula sightings around here. Liter I've literally seen like, I've seen like three tarantulas in a span of like a minute. Yes. It and was crazy. And they say when you see the little tarantulas, tarantula man is near. Yeah. So we're going to go look for him. We're going to see if we can find tarantula man. I don't really want to see tarantula man, but you know what? I'm willing to do anything for you guys. 
So, the story goes, Tarantula Man was so obsessed with tarantulas. He was just a normal guy. He was so obsessed with tarantulas. And so, he, he wanted to see if he could try to make the biggest tarantula ever so he could keep it and be so cool. So, he started doing experiments on the tarantulas. But, what he didn't know was that the experimental tarantula that he was experimenting on got out and it bit him, <gasps> and he turned in what? to a half man, half tarantula man. I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but it sounds terrifying. Okay, Aubrey, I hate to tell you this, but I am so deathly afraid of spiders and snakes. Like, those are my two scariest things. I don't like snakes, but I can do spiders. Why? What was that noise? What was Why is that? that that's what I was just about to say, and then something moved over here in the woods. It's like, it's like somebody was in there. There's and a fit, like, and it's got barbed wire on top. Look, you guys, oh, look. We're out here. It's like literally the wood. There's nothing. There's nothing out here. But there's a fence with barbed wire right over there. Okay. Uh, Hang on. We're going to come look over here on this side. Okay, be careful because I'm telling you, this tarantulas come crawling out. They do, and they're big. That is so weird. It doesn't, it's like, it's like been here for a long time, but I don't know. I've never, I've never even seen that. I haven't either. I've literally been down this place. Listen. Should we keep going, you think? I don't know. Maybe we should get in the UTV. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, let's go get that. Let's Come on. do it. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Aubrey has her permit now. Yeah. So she is legally able to drive yeah yeah so now she's gonna be driving us on these urban legend investigations yeah yeah <laughs> okay so we're walking up the path the atv is or the atv the utv, UTV is up here and that's what we're gonna drive yup okay safety first we're yeah i gotta buckle the up so the tarantulas can't crawl in I here and get you. i don't know about you though uh, so. i'm gonna leave my open so i can film but the tarantulas are gonna get you so. well if i see any i'm gonna die I mean, you probably would die because tarantula okay, man. Okay, I'm gonna. You. You're right. I'm gonna close. Yeah. The net so that tarantula man Stop. cannot get in here. All hey, right. hey, guys, you ready? Cause you know what? Before I do this, let us go. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Keep your eyes posted for any tarantula. For any tarantulas or giant webs or anything like that. That's how we know there we're is here. a dead tarantula up here. Are I'll you kidding me? Yeah, I ran it over accidentally. What? No You're going to make tarantula man mad. mad. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going slow because, oh my gosh, what if tarantula man came back and got it back? Oh, I don't know, man. Okay. I think it might we're looking. be. I'm trying to remember where it was at. No, I was it back there? Okay, let's get yeah, out. It was, it was back there. Right. There's a web! Where? On the car! <gasps> like, if you look, like. Okay. Like, it like was glimmering. Hold on. Don't creep me right. out! It's like. Where? Oh. Okay, we had to turn around because we're looking for this tarantula. You see it anywhere? It's out here somewhere, guys. Let's okay. go find it! Alright. I found it! What? Its legs are gone. <gasps> Oh my goodness. They were like twitching. They were like off the body. Was, oh like, my twitching. gosh. It, the one of his legs is over here. Yeah, it was twitching. Oh my goodness. Tarantula man is going to be so mad at you. Is there a stick? I didn't mean to. Is there a stick? Did he just run out in front of the car? I didn't, I didn't see it. Guys, this is a real tarantula. tarantula. This is a real tarantula. Oh. Mm. He's dead now. Don't use your fingers. Oh! Oh my gosh. That's I don't like so, that. I don't either. His other leg is over here. I don't like that. Okay. Guys, they're like big. It's all squished. That's it's creepy. like big. Guys, I know where some tarantulas are. It's on a road over here. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're on the main road. There's a dog over here that chases us and tries to get us every time. So I'm a little scared. jumps out like it's not really dead oh the one yesterday was trying to get jaded 
they can pretend like they're dead and they're not. Okay, that's two tarantulas. That means he's around here. I know. That's two. Okay, we're gonna keep going up this road and seeing what we see. Okay. Okay, so far we have not seen anything other than the tr small tarantulas. The dead tarantulas. So that's a bad sign. That is a hugely bad sign. Okay, guys, we were about to end the video, but up there on the tree, it's covered in webs. Up here. Up in the ah! hill, so we're going there. We're going to go investigate up there. All right, hold your horses, guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, my oh. goodness. Ah! What? Tarantula man jumps out. Oh, but we are. That sucks to suck, I guess, for us. Okay, okay where's that web at? Last time I went up here, there was a deer just, like, right there. So. Wait, deer? Deer, lady. Dear lady. It was like it was an actual it was a woman it was a female deer. So I don't Okay. Know. Okay, That's we're going way. this way. I don't think I've ever been on I don't here. know, but there's a trail, so we're gonna take it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been on here before. Keep your eyes posted, guys. I didn't even know there was a trail. Oh my goodness. Oh! What? What? Oh! What? Look! Look! Oh my gosh! Go, 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 go! Oh! It's a spider! Creeped me out. Okay. It's a trap. Okay, you guys, hold on. We're going hold down a giant on, hill. Guys. Hold on, Aubrey. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Webs. What? Webs. Look. Oh, it is a giant web. It's all the way around the tree. All the way around. Okay, I'm not getting out because there there is a hundred percent of tarantula in there. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Okay, now we're headed back to the peak. Da, da, da. This is where we started, you guys, and we're gonna go into the wooded area and see what we can find. What we can find. Oh wow. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that hole over there. There's a giant web in there. Oh, we zoom in. 100% tarantula. Oh man. Okay. Ah, I'm getting hit by branches and stuff. This is creepy. Aubrey's kind of a crazy driver. I am okay. a wonderful driver. She is a good driver, guys. Give Aubrey a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for driving. Okay. I haven't seen any like living tarantulas. Is that a good sign? I don't think so. I saw them all last night. Back in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Probably all kinds of things. Okay, we're in the middle of the woods, so oh. we're gonna go look around and be super careful because it looks like something's been chomping through here. Probably a little man. Okay. Okay, you go first. Oh, thanks. I don't even have socks on. Oh, no. I'll stay back here and watch, okay? I'm just kidding. Uh -uh. I'm just kidding, okay. I do have boots. Lucky you. Oh, look down there. Yeah. That's cool. Do you see any webs? I don't. Is that like a bad sign? I feel like there should be webs everywhere. Well, I, there was webs and like they're gone. You like grabbed my foot. Don't. I'm not kidding, like I looked back. There's a hole right next to oh. your foot. <laughs> Did something really grab it? Yes. There's a giant hole, like something probably came out of the hole. Oh, now you got me creeped out. Oh, oh, gosh, sorry. What? I don't see anything in the hole. I don't trust walking. I down. think you're just kidding. I'm, not. I'm gonna walk down a little bit. Okay. Guys, keep an eye out. Well. What? What are you doing? I don't know what that is. Aubrey, wait for me. Aubrey, don't you leave. And left me. Now I have to walk all the way back. So the tr and hopefully tarantula man doesn't get me. Oh wait, she's coming back. Hang on. Wow. Okay, I'm coming. No, I can't go through this area. This is. 
There's webbing, Aubrey. Get There's it. webs. We can't stay here. We cannot stay here. We gotta we go. go Let's go. We have get, to leave. Get our stuff. This is our home. No, we're gone. What? Guys, I hope you like this video. Give this video a like and subscribe. And Hopefully, Tarantula Man doesn't follow us home. That would be horrible, guys. Watch our other videos and stay tuned. Hey, guys, it's me, Aubrey. And Melissa. And today we are investigating another. No, uh, Another urban legend! Ah! But this one is so cool. Yeah. So today, guys, we are doing something super special. But before I oh, tell you what it is, it's so special. Click the like button and click subscribe. It. You guys, click it because you are gonna want to hear this urban legend that we found out that is perfect mm -hmm, it's Christmas for the Christmas time. time. Yep. Okay, are you ready? Oh, you're gonna love it. Hey, it is the elf man. The elf dun, man. Dun, dun, dun. Wait. Okay, so we've had the evil elf. And Candy Can, our regular elf on the show. So, we have all these elves. Is Elf Man, is he a good elf or is he a bad elf? Well, the story goes. Okay, okay. so hold on. I gotta pull it up. All right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, so supposedly the Elf Man is a three foot tall, like, elf, elfish man who lives in the forest. He lives, like, in, like, a tree. Wait, so he's smaller than Caleb? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but he's not that small. But, but he's he an elf. Yeah. Okay. So, he lives in the forest, and he only comes out during Christmas time. What? And if you can find him during Christmas time, he can put you on the nice list. <gasps> but in order for him to put you on the nice list, you have to give him gifts. So, like, what? candy canes, Chris, just Christmas Like Christmas stuff. gifts? Okay. Yeah. So, this elf, he's really nice, and he will tell Santa, put you on the nice list if you leave little gifts for him. But if he doesn't like the gifts, then he'll get you on the naughty list. What? Well, how do you know if he likes the gifts? doesn't like them. Well, if he likes it, then he'll give you like little trinkets and stuff like that. But if he doesn't like it, then he'll just do like mischievous stuff. <gasps> well, let's go to the store and get him. Let's see if we, if the legend of Elf Man is true. Hey. Okay, let's go. All right, so this is kind of a different angle here. You guys may be wondering, Aubrey is driving. This is... You, she has driven on an urban legend, but she's going to be driving us around today. So yeah. fingers crossed she does good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and there's our house. We'll have to show you guys. The Christmas lights are up, but they're not on right now because it's light outside. Yeah, it's hot so we'll have to show you our Christmas lights. So where are we supposed to leave these gifts? Um, where he lives, which he supposedly he's supposed to live in a tree. And if you like walk by the tree, then you're going to know that an elf lives in that tree. So I think I have a little idea. I think we could maybe get like a little stocking. Mm -hmm. Mini stocking and like put stuff in it. Cause you gotta make it look really oh, Christmassy and you gotta make them like it, you know? Oh, that's a good idea. These are cute. Okay. You like those or do they have regular ones? We have, ooh, ooh, those might have like traditional. Those might have Christmassy. I know. Hmm. Do they have like, look on the other right. So they have like little ones. Okay, we didn't see anything, so I think these are like pretty Christmas. -y. I think maybe one of them we should put like Santa Claus, oh. like the Santa fits in here, so we could maybe see there. I maybe. I'll have to find the one here. These are cute. You might like them. Yeah, cause he. Yeah. Okay, sounds good to her. Okay, do you see any ornaments here? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they're tiny. We need to find like tiny. I mean, stuff. there's like a little present. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. He'll okay. think that you're like trying to trick him. Oh yeah. Do you think they're like traditional candy canes? Or I like, think. These are dumb dumbs. I mean, oh no, don't think he might think. He's gonna think we're going to a dumb dumb. dumb. That would not be good. Yeah. Like Skittles, you think? Yeah, probably. Skittles, Skittles. are good. I think everybody probably likes Skittles. Or maybe there's like a green one. Yeah. Creamsicle. I cannot believe they don't have regular. I know. Wait, troll? Cause no, because he's, like... he's gonna think we're calling him a troll. Oh, you're right. Okay. We found it. This is perfect. 
And it looks like Christmas. That'd be perfect. It looks very elfish. Yes, it does. Okay, we got the stuff. We got a bunch good. of goodies. Let's go in the car and we'll show them what we got. Okay, okay. guys. Okay. All right, we got lots of cool stuff. Aubrey, you could you came up with some really good ideas. Hopefully, he likes it. Yeah, I know. So, oh no. What? They don't open. You're kidding. Wait. You're kidding. He's gonna, he's gonna put you on the naughty he's list. Oh my goodness. On. Can you open it? Oh, okay, they it literally. Are okay, you it does me? open. All right, okay. So then we finally, there was one box. That's so good. we got traditional, because I think all elves like traditional candy canes. Yeah. Because like the peppermint and. Because it's just traditional. Well, right. It's Christmas. If you watch any Christmas movie and they eat candy canes, it's always the red and white ones. Yeah, it's never like Skittles. No. Or, like it's that. Okay. Then, wait, you have to test these out. Okay. These are really cute. They are really cute. I don't, okay. but you know what? And they're reindeer. I know, but you know what? What if they don't fit him? Well, I mean, he's only like, he's like, just three feet tall so i think he like so you think it'll fit him probably okay that's like because you know though. he's probably how old is he probably really old he's probably like 200 300 years old oh my gosh that's, that's so nice. cute i don't know do you think he'll like it i think he'll like okay it. all right I, I think he'll like it okay we'll put those in front of the yes because i do things. not think they're gonna fit in here no look what else we got well they might isn't this cute? <gasps> and it's it, like, adorable. Really, you can't put any money in it, but it really does do that. And then the so it's free. And the bubble so gum it, comes it'll, out. It'll be nice. He is gonna love this. Okay, okay what else, Aubrey? Also got cause elf. Yeah, cause the elf on the shelf. <gasps> but what if they're like enemies? Well, we'll just have That's to try it. Fun. All right. Okay, so we're going to the forest. We're gonna yes. put these things out, and yes. we're going to try to see if we can butter up the elf man yeah let's right, do it let's go okay so we are headed to the wooded area to give our gifts to elf man yep. i'm kind of excited i am too except if we're on the naughty list They're right that's, exciting. that's bad i guess we'll find out tomorrow if he likes our gifts or he doesn't like our i gifts. hope he likes them okay we're getting closer to the wooded area Okay guys, so we've been driving for a very, very, very long time trying to find this certain tree that the elf person thing is going to be at. It's like getting dark because of how long we've been like looking. We've been out here for a really long time. Really have. So we got lost, so we're just trying to find the spot that they said elf man is at. Let's hope he's there. Yeah. Okay, I think okay. it's up here. I think we found it. I hope so. Okay, we're just gonna park over here and then we'll get out and look. Yeah, we gotta go further into the woods and look. Okay, we gotta get all the trinkets out. Okay, wait, we gotta set it up first. Yes. We gotta get it ready. Okay. Okay. Three first. I don't know where it went, so we're just gonna have to open the other one. Okay. So first, we gotta get the little stocking. Right. Okay. Should we put like little candy canes around? I think we should put it in the stocking and then around the stocking. Okay. So then it's like extra, extra. Okay. Okay. So we got the one little. Little candy cane, and then what else do we got? Wait, hang on, I heard something. Wait, I just heard something. Did you? Maybe he knows. Okay. okay, we gotta hurry. Then. All right, okay. Should I keep the? Yeah, the I wouldn't get him out because maybe maybe he doesn't want anybody touching. That his is candy. that's valid. That's valid. Yeah. Okay. okay, we've got the glasses, and then we've got. Put Little some. Candy. Oh yeah, put the tree, and then you got a candy cane. Oh, I gotta open. Yeah, I got a candy okay. cane in here. Okay. That's not opening. Okay, I got it. Perfect. All right, let me see. Oh, oh, oh! I heard it again. It's like a jingle. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, guys. I think. I think we've got it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I think you're definitely gonna go on the nice list. I think okay. it's adorable. Okay, let's right. do it. Okay. Got okay. the goods. All right, now so we where do we leave tree. it? Well, that kind of looks like a... Like a Christmas tree? Ooh. Yeah, that does look like a Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, that right there. Wait, that one They're looks like, like a Christmas tree, too. Let's put it over this Christmas okay. tree. All right. Okay. Be careful. Oh, my gosh. You knocked the sign down. Know. Crazy. Come here. Come here. Okay. Look. What is that? <gasps> I don't you know. You think somebody already came and, like, left something? I don't I know. There it. looks like... Li look, it does look like little things out. Those may be I gifts know. that he didn't like. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so stick. So just put it right there on the rock okay. where you can see it. Okay. Or no, put it under the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. That's good. Because that'll be good. Put it under the Christmas tree. Are you supposed to say something when you leave it? When you leave? I don't know. All I heard was just to leave something. Okay, um, Elf Man. There's your. We're gift. leaving you gifts. Um, put me on the nice list. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Okay, hurry, Aubrey. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Wait. I heard the jingle again. Oh yes, you know what? You can't be here when he comes out to get the present. Okay, all right, get in, get in. Automatically on the naughty list. Okay, hurry, get in. I don't want to be on the naughty list. Okay, guys. Okay, you did it. So we now, did do it. We just have to go home and wait. I guess so. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, we're back, and so far so good. Nothing bad is yeah, happening. Yeah, we haven't so... heard anything from the uh, elf man, so I think he may have liked the gifts. I don't I know. I hope so. Well, guys, since nothing's happened, I wanted to show you my new Christmas tree. Yay. Well, it's not really. No, but like there's new ornaments on right. this year. So Aubrey got some new ornaments and it's yeah. so pretty. And she got a big Christmas tree here and Caleb did like a challenge. So you guys make sure to check that video out because it's on this channel. Yes. So I think we should go outside and show them the Christmas lights. Woo! It's dark. Okay, let's go. Let's it. Oh, it got cold yeah. out here. Yeah, I know it's freezing. Okay, I love Christmas and the Christmas lights. Yeah. So we have we snowman Santa. tree and a dog back there barking at us. Okay, and then here's the front of the house. It looks so pretty. I know, it's like a candy cane. I know, it's supposed to snow really? next week, yes. When was, what, when was that gonna happen? Yes, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so pretty with the white snow. I know. Who's calling? Who is that? That was weird. What is this? What? Are you kidding Wait, me? You're are you joking. Kidding? You're, this no. is an actual joke. There's no way. No, it's There's a prank. Actual... Answer it. It's a prank. Hello? I got what you left me. <gasps> what? Who, who is this? You know who this is. No, no I it's don't. a that's, prank. That's why I asked. I got what you left me and I don't even want it. That's not what I asked for. Who oh is gosh, this? But who is this? You know who this is. No one. Hang up, just hang up. Just hang up. <laughs> I don't know it's what that was. It's a prank. It's a prank call. Me? Oh my goodness. What did. Seriously. I don't know who that was. It said Elf Man. Oh my They're calling gosh. Again. Are you calling kidding? again. No, no. Who is it? Okay, who is this? Do not hang up on me. You know who I am. No, I like actually. Okay. What happened? I don't even know who you are. I don't. Hey, guy, you understand? Are you Elf um, Man? Is this Elf Man? Who is... Nobody calls me that. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> okay, we. Okay, okay we're sorry. Um, we actually gotta go. Nobody. Um, okay, bye. I don't oh, know who my... that is. Oh, I don't know who that is. That was Elf Man. Like okay, go inside. Elfman go inside. He may be watching. From like the yes, go inside. He may be watching. Go inside. Go Are inside. You no, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I thought it was just a prank call. Are you asking? I know. Okay, that was so weird. Do you think that was really Elfman? I don't think so. I don't. I'm going to be. But how, okay, first of all, how did he know that we sent gifts? That's good for me. And it how said did he Elfman. I hope he doesn't call again. Oh, you scared me. Okay. What is happening? Okay, so. Yes, oh yes, my yes, gosh! Yes. Wait, if that is Elf Man. Yes. Oh, it's Elf Man! I don't want to answer it. Okay. You've got to answer it. He's going to put you on the naughty list. It's okay. All right. Hello? I tell you what. I'll give you one more chance. You're going straight on the naughty list. What did I do? One more chance. You accept this chance. Yes. Never mind. What? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to go back and give him better gifts. You we guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. We need some ideas. We yeah, need, we, we need, need ideas on what we should give him. Um, please give us ideas, guys, because I don't want to be on the naughty list. Give us a new like and subscribe and check out other videos and stay tuned. Peace out. No! What? Aubrey, what is that behind you? Stop! Oh. There's multiple! Somebody's coming here. Hey guys!
guys, it's me, Aubrey from Fun and Crazy Kids, and today's video gets a little crazy. So as you guys can see, we are in a different location. We are. Let me just kind of show you around here. We are at the land in the RV. And I've got my... Aubrey's got her comfy dumpy. That I got mom for Christmas, but I took it. Because it's so cold it, outside. It so we've got to dress up super warm we to do. go into the cold. We do. Do you want to tell them why? We are going to investigate the urban legend of the Goblin Man. What? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, you didn't tell me the Goblin Man. That's I thought we were just man. like going on a nice hike. No. We're going to look for a goblin that's a man. We sure are. It's, it's going to be crazy. I already told you guys this. <sighs> She always gets me into these crazy oh. ordeals. All right, let's go. Okay, so we are heading out. It is so cold. I'm pretty warm, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Where's Dad? Should we take the Should we take the UTV? We should. Okay. okay. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, go before he comes. Down. Oh, he's over there. Okay. All right. See you, Dad. but you can only see him after Christmas because he is such like a Grinch and he hates Christmas that he only comes out to rip up people's decorations and stuff. What? So if your decorations ever go missing after Christmas, that's why. It's him. But... Goblin man. Okay. He only lives in the woods though. So if you live by woods, then... Uh, sorry about your decorations. Like this woods here? Yeah. Wait, we had a Christmas tree? Well, there's like multiple. It's like a whole species. So it's not just a single goblin man, but that's what the species is called. But they're okay. goblin people, pretty All much. Right. Okay, there's like birds flying everywhere. Look. Yeah, they probably know the goblin man is near. So. so what are the signs that goblin men are here? Um, well, you'll find like decorations, like sprung out, like broken. Uh, you'll find broken stuff. You'll find broken leaves, not leaves, broken branches. Cause he's like running through the woods with the decorations. Okay. And you'll hear a little like giggling. So oh if you hear that, then gosh. I guess we know. All right, so I guess we're going in there. We are. This is creepy. Well, you know what? Wait, Wait I'm gonna. Before we do this, give this video a like and subscribe in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go check out. All right, I was saying, I saw something down here in the water area. There are so many well, he birds. Because he's so small that if he goes into the water, he's gonna like drown. Oh, also, he... it's really, really cold, and the goblin people are like us. They so he's like, gonna like get hypothermia. Oh, he doesn't like water. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good because I don't want to go he's down there anyway. In the woods. He doesn't go out there. Okay, but there are so many birds, which is really weird. They're probably running from the gobble man, man. Well, I'm telling you, I've never seen so many birds out here. Okay. All right. Mm, let's go on. Let's go. Okay, we're freezing. I'm not. I'm so cold. <laughs> <gasps> I just saw oh. something move down there. Did you see that? No, but yes. it's looking real creepy. Down there. Look, I just saw some move. Okay, look, you guys. <gasps> okay, this is so creepy. Wait, Caleb and I came down here to look for Deer Lady. <gasps> so, Deer Lady and Goblin. Okay. So, what are we gonna leave? The are we gonna try to trap him? Okay, let's look I don't for think signs. So, why would what would we do well, with a Goblin Man? I don't know. I think all we can do is just like, see him. Okay. Mom. What? What? What is it? Look in front of you. It's, it's like a fenced area. Like what is that? Broken. Like somebody escaped. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Wait, wait, don't what do that. You scared like, me. The people that like used to own this property captured the goblin people and put them in the fences and now the goblin people are, are like mad and they're gonna like get us because they think we did it. What? But we didn't! Okay, hang on. 
I'm gonna look for clues. That's that is really weird because it's like just a box. There's like there's nothing here, guys, and there's like a fence box right here. You think so? Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, this is definitely weird. I don't see any Christmas decorations though. Okay. I do see like berries. Okay, this is weird. What? What? What is it? Stop. Aubrey, what is that behind you? Stop! Oh, sorry. It was a bird. I'm sorry. Are you kidding sorry. me? Sorry. Right <laughs> okay. Okay. This. What? I keep. Oh. oh my gosh. What is that? It was coming from that area. Okay, go that way. Go straight. You this go way. that way. You have the camera. Okay. I'll just stay right Well, you know, we've got to go together. Okay, let's go together. Okay, we're going to walk a little bit further. Hey, it was your urban legend that you found. Like, you're the one that said, hey, mom, let's go to the land and search for the goblin man. Hang on. Look, there's like a trail down there oh and birds god. just oh my goodness okay look guys Yay. okay we were looking over here there's like a trail and all these birds came up from over there okay should i go look let's do yeah. it let's do it I think okay you what i don't make me do it by myself of course you're gonna get spotted in your pink snuggie oh, yeah. Are you I, <laughs> I know. he's gonna run and try to give you a hug in your big comfy yeah. snuggie Yes. Oh, what is that? There's something over there. There's something over there. Do you see it by the tree? I do. What is that? Okay. Wait. Oh. This is creepy. Why does it just like, why does it look like this? I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's Christmas decoration. You're kidding. You're actually, No. You're look actually right kidding. there. Look right there. There's no way. Look. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was Christmas decorations because it was like pink. Why is it purple? Why are there Why are there cacti? It's purple. Why is it Oklahoma. Why? I don't know. And it's like it's like messed up. Look, 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 I know. Traveling. It's weird. It's not even green. It's like purple. Don't touch it. It might have prickly things on it still. It does. It does, and it'll prickle you. Oh my goodness, what's that? Okay. Well, that's weird can't pick it up that's weird that there's like cactus here i know and it's like in the most random spot in too. the middle of the wood i didn't know that there was cactus in the woods just there's not even multiple it's just a single Wait, one shh, shh, shh. Behind you. she's behind me behind you what's behind me there's nothing behind no, me you keep doing I'm that serious i thought i saw like boy who i'm cried serious wolf. i thought i saw something poke out Aubrey, no, for real, for real. Look, look up here. There's a sign. I'm not even kidding you. Yes, look. Give a thumbs up, guys, and tell her. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to go look. Okay, she thinks I'm lying. I'm going to prove to her, you guys, that there's a sign over here. Wait, what is that? Don't leave me, Aubrey. Stay right there. Okay, there's a sign in the middle of the woods. Oh, she's leaving me. It says, no. It says no trespassing, Aubrey. Oh my goodness. Aubrey! What? Hang on, hang on! Wait, don't leave me! Oh my goodness, she's leaving me, guys! Aubrey! I'm gonna fall on the cactus! Aubrey, don't leave! Hang on! The sign said no trespassing! I'm trying! Don't leave! Don't leave! The sign said no trespassing! The sign said no trespassing. Oh, okay, be careful. It's so cold. We gotta get out. Run! Where? Where? Oh my God! That thing's behind us. It's the goblin man. Where to go? There's somebody behind us. There's the goblin man. Get in the RV. Get in. Just get in. We gotta lock the door. Turn it off. Run, run, run. In the RV. Hurry up or go. Don't fall. Okay. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Oh. Lock the door. Lock it. Okay. 
We're safe. Oh, it's so cold. Hopefully we're safe. It's so cold. Hang on. We have to take the wait. I, wait. We've got to look. We've got to look. Hang on. Nobody's going to see us. That was so creepy. What did we you expect wait. was going to happen? Looking for Do a you goblin hear something? man. I just heard something. Hang on. <gasps> Hang on. Did you hear something? Yes. Okay. Was we're it, freaking it, out. Hang on. It sounded like it was coming from the door. <gasps> what was that? Who is that? Ah! Wait! Hang on. Ah! Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody in the Aubrey. Ah! 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 Close it! Close it! Should we look again? I don't know. Three, two, one. <laughs> How did he go? He's got the way he's trying to get in here. There's multiple! Somebody's coming here. Oh, it's Caleb! Caleb! Get in! Caleb! It's Caleb! It's Caleb! It's Caleb! Why are you laughing? The goblin man's out there! What? Hang on, let's see if he's still. <laughs> Okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Stuck in here. Guys, I got uh, a weapon that shoots darts. Maybe we can get it. Okay, he's gone. What? That was yeah. scary. Oh, well, okay. he still lives in our woods. He's right. not gone. All right, we're gonna have to trap him, I think. I don't wanna live here on the woods with I the, got a Nerf the... Blaster and some uh, walkie talkie and gloves, but they're over there in the tree. Oh, well, that's no, like you're not gonna be able to get him now. Okay, we're gonna have to set up a trap. Okay guys, give us a new like and subscribe and stay tuned because I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this goblin man. Peace out. Hey guys, it's me, Aubrey from Fun and Crazy Kids and you won't believe what happened. There go! There's somebody behind us! Ah! What was that? Ah! What? Aubrey, what is that behind you? Stop! Oh. There's multiple! So, so if we recap from the last video, uh, we searched through the woods for Goblin Man, you know. Creepy, I don't know why we decided to do that. That was a horrible idea. But before I tell you guys what happened, you guys can probably already guess because this happens to us a lot. Give this video a like and subscribe in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys. I got I gotta move. Okay, I got by the door because we're gonna get ready to go and go search for Goblin Man because he's in our house. Well, I have reason to believe he's in our house. Uh, first reason is some flower footprints! And Caleb says it's not from him. So who else could it be from? The Goblin Man. There's no, there's no man in this house. There's no other person in this house that can make the tiniest footsteps that he makes. And I've been hearing some creepy noises, of course, like always. And if I find Goblin Man, um, let's just say he's gonna wish he never came in the house, you know. Pull out some jujitsu moves. I, I don't know. I don't know. Feeling crazy tonight. Feeling crazy. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go ask Caleb because maybe Caleb made made some messes. I'm I'm gonna ask him again because I really really hope it's not the Goblin Man. Because if it's the Goblin Man, I don't know what. Caleb, you're acting like the Goblin Man. Okay, I need I I need to ask you a serious question. Okay, are you ready? Sit there. Sit there. Okay. Well, um. I've already told the fun fans about us finding the flower mess, you know, mm -hmm. it was crazy. Um, are you sure mess. you didn't do that? No. Are you sure? There's Not like a sure. footprint in the flower that I was telling you about? Yeah. Did you do that? No. Well, do, did your friend come over? Maybe he did it? No. Well then, who was it? I don't know, probably the goblin. Oh! So, Caleb, what you're telling me is that you didn't put your foot in the flower. Neither did your friend, and you, you don't know what happened. No, I don't know what happened. Oh, maybe I should ask Dad. Should I ask Dad? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I searched everywhere for my dad, and I could not find him. Guys, look what it is. Do you see that? Tell me you see that. 
it's a footprint, but it's not just a normal footprint. It's like the size of my hand. It's tiny. And the footprint isn't just there. It goes down off the counter towards the door to where I don't know. Well, I'm a bit confused and concerned why there is a footprint on the counter. Um, if you guys know, uh, I'd be wonderful for you to tell me because I'm a little confused. And by little, I mean very, very confused. I'm incredibly confused. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little spoon. And so if I see the Goblin Man, I can like whack him. I think that's a good idea. Okay, here is our little drawer full of like spatulas and spoons. So I'm going to pick out a nice... Could this work? Do you think I could like whack him with this? Uh, I don't think that's good enough. Ooh, yes. Whack him with the spatula. I think I need to do some practice runs. Are you ready? Woo, 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 woo. I think that's good. I think this is sturdy enough. I think we've got our winner. Guys, before we go upstairs, I think, I think I'm gonna investigate down here first. Totally not to distract you guys from me going upstairs and investigating up there where I know he's probably at. <laughs> okay, let's go past these footprints that are uh, leading me to my doom. There's nothing in the dining room. Let's look in the living room. Just an empty bed full of toys. Do you see how spoiled my dog is? It's okay, we love her. So do you guys. Give her a like for her. Okay, got random shoes over there. Looks like somebody has been sitting there for a while. Do we see anything out here? Let's look at the peephole. Oh, where is it? Oh. What is that? You guys see anything? Okay. Okay, so far, so far, so good. Um... I don't want to go upstairs, guys. So maybe, maybe I don't have to. I know I have to. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna work up to it. I'm gonna work up to it. I need some motivation. Um, chocolate will work. So I found a giant half-eaten two-pound Reese's cup. Um, let's look at this. So I'm pretty sure this is really old. But you know, should I eat this? Should I should I eat this to gain some confidence to go upstairs and investigate the creepy gnome guy? I think I should. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a bite out of this side where there isn't bites taken out of it. Okay, let's do it. Now that I've got some sort of safety, um, I'm gonna make my way upstairs and hope this creepy little goblin man is not at the top of the stairs. Um, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm terrified. I'm gonna let you guys peek first and tell me if you see anything. Because if you do, I'm not going up there. That was so good. Okay, okay. We've ignored the inevitable, but we gotta go upstairs. Let's do it. Guys, before we start this video, this video gets wild. Viewer discretion is advised. Maybe get a snack, some popcorn, maybe some pop, some hot cocoa, I don't know, water? Get something, because it's gonna be a wild ride, this video. All right, let's do it. Okay, open the door to our impending doom. To the stairs. Nothing. There's a picture up there. I'm, I'm really scared. I'm terrified right now, guys. I'm like clutching this for dear life. I don't know if I wanna risk it. Why are they always upstairs? Why is it always? Like, that's concerning. Why is it always, is it because there's attics? Like, every time a villain comes to our house or follows us home, they're, like, in the attic. Is that, is there some type of, like, I don't even know. I'm confused. Okay, guys, I'm stepping up. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. So smash that like button, please, and thank you. Okay. Hope this Okay, I'm currently in my office because I know you guys heard that. There was some type of door closing, and then there were steps, and then there was noise, and I'm terrified! I ran up those steps with as much, like, 
force and speed as I possibly could muster. This did nothing for me. This, are you kidding me? It's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna stay in my office. There were shadows. I, I just saw shadows over there and I just heard something and I just, I'm scared. I'm literally, I'm gonna hide in this like ball pit. I, there's a ball pit in my office for Lola and I just, I'm in it now. I'm, I should be quiet. He's gonna, he's gonna hear me. Guys, we gotta figure out what to do. Maybe I'm just acting rational. You know, maybe I'm just, is that what it's called? Rational rash? I, I don't even know. I'm freaking out. Maybe, maybe, maybe dad came home because I didn't see him at home. Maybe that was dad. Or maybe it was the goblin man waiting for me to come outside and he's gonna take me back to the forest and make me like the goblin queen or something. I don't wanna be the goblin queen. Okay, I've sit in this ball pit for a while and I've come to the conclusion. I cannot live here. There is not any food. Uh, I'm a big fan of food. So that's not, we're not working with that. And also there's a Nicolas Cage pillow over there staring at me. That pillow is really scaring me. I don't wanna stay in this room anymore. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? We're going out. Let's go! Okay, I don't know about some Gobble Man, but that room back there was terrifying. Do you see it? It was like pitch black. Oh my. The door is open. Guys, I shut the door when I came up here. That can only mean one thing. The goblin man is somewhere up here. Go, 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 I'm going back to my room. I'm going back to my room. I'm going back to my room. There's no way. There's there's no way. There's no way because it wouldn't have been anybody else in the house who opened that door and I heard footsteps and I saw a shadow and I heard stuff. It wouldn't be anybody else. So that can only mean one thing and one thing only. The goblin man is in my house and my fears have came true. So I know this video was supposed to be seeing Searching for the goblin ha man in my house, but there's no searching anymore because he's here. So the next video, guys, I'm gonna have to catch him. So if you guys have any ideas, please tell me because I don't want this creepy man in my house, okay? I don't. Give it a like and subscribe, guys. Um, this video was a wild roller coaster, especially for me. Had to do a lot of running, got some exercise in. Uh, see y'all next time. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys do not remember what happened from last video about the Goblin Man, here's a little recap right now. I just saw oh. something move down there. Did you see that? No, but yes. it's looking real creepy down there. Look, I just saw some move. Okay, look, you guys. <gasps> okay. This is so creepy. I stab in the bar! Where? Oh my god, that thing's behind us! It's the Goblin Man! What was that? Hang on, let's see if he's still. <laughs> Guys, I searched everywhere for my dad and I could not find him. Guys, look what it is. My. The door is open. Guys, I shut the door when I came up here. Now that you just saw that, let's get on with the video. happened to me i just got back home and all of my stuff is missing literally all of my stuff my dresser my sheets my bedside table all the clothes in there everything is gone i don't know what i'm supposed to do i don't know i, I don't know if i need to go tell my mother that all my stuff is missing maybe maybe caleb knows something guys what if it's from the goblin man what Oh, I gotta go ask Caleb, because Caleb always knows what to do. Before I do that, though, give this video a like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's go. Caleb! Okay, his light's off. That's weird. Caleb! Oh, okay. What? What are you doing? Why are you just sitting in the dark in the corner? Ooh. Okay, Caleb, I have something to tell you. What? So, you know how I told you that, like, the goblin man was maybe in this house? Mm -hmm. All of my stuff is missing. I don't believe that. Uh, well, come on, come look, come look. Kill. do you see it? Everything is missing. Everything, my sheets, my dresser. I don't think, is there anything missing in there? 
Oh, thankfully not. Okay, I still have my my clothes and my shirts in there. Do you know what's like happening? Hmm? No. You don't know, Caleb. You usually know. Like you have no idea whatsoever. Well, what? What do you mean probably? Do, do you have you talked to the Goblin Man? You have, Caleb. What? Caleb, what do you mean you've talked to the Goblin Man? You went in my room when I was in the dark. What? You in you interrupted it. The Goblin Man was just in the room like two seconds ago. Mm -hmm. Well, are you friends with the Goblin Man? Kind of. Kind of? He did did he take my stuff? Why are you friends with the Goblin Man if he took my stuff? You want me to tell him something? Yes, to give me my stuff back. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay. Um, I guess report back to me after you tell him to give me my stuff back. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope Caleb can persuade the Goblin Man to give me my stuff back. Okay, guys, I hope Caleb can, like, fix this problem with the Goblin Man because he seems to be good at the... Oh, I think he's in here. Oh, um, hi, Caleb. Um, did you, did you talk to the Goblin Man? The Goblin Man is angry. He's angry? He took my eyes. What? Just kidding. But he's angry with you. What? Why is that it? Why are you? Why are you dancing? Why is that a good thing that Goblin Man's angry with me? I don't know. He's not angry with me. Well, am I gonna get my stuff back at least? No. Wait. What? You're. Let, let me talk to this Goblin Man. Let, I'm going to talk with him. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Me? I'm gonna. I'm gonna speak to this Goblin Man. Uh, okay. I'll just turn the lights off. You have to sit right there, and uh, he'll I, talk to you. Um, I see him right now, look. Okay, no thank you. Okay guys, I've decided since um, I do not want to talk to Goblin Man in the creepy little dark room, I'm going to go up to my office and I'm going to search on the computer and I'm going to try to find something on the web because people on the internet always, always have the answer, you know? So hopefully this time they do have the answer. Okay. Everything is all over the floor. It has to be the Goblin Man. The Goblin Man is out for like revenge or something and I don't know why. I gotta hurry and I gotta search how to stop this because I don't know what else the Goblin Man's gonna do. Okay, so I've turned the computer on. Um, I'm trying to search up. What should I search up? How to get rid of a Goblin Man? Ooh. Nothing's coming up! Has nobody experienced a Goblin Man? Have you guys experienced a Goblin Man or is it just me? I hope the fun fans have not experienced a Goblin Man because he's making my life miserable right now. He's stolen my stuff. Guys, my school uniform and my school supplies are in the dresser he stole. What am I supposed to do? Okay, um, I already looked up how to get rid of a Goblin Man. Um, what to do if a Goblin man steals all of your stuff from your room. It's very descriptive. Something came up! Okay, so I found an article. Uh, after something came up, it brought me to an article and then it wasn't anything about a Goblin Man. So then I looked up just Goblin Man by itself and then I found, like, after searching for a couple of minutes, I found an article about Goblin Man. So uh, it says that he is a mythical creature who lives in the woods. We have established that. And if you disturb his peace in the woods, he'll follow you home and <sighs> steal your stuff. That would have been nice to know uh, before I went to the woods searching for him. Cause I don't like my stuff stolen. Um, I can't see anything about what it says to like, get rid of it. I don't, I don't know what to do. So I've searched and searched online. Do you hear my voice? It was getting creepy. Okay, I've searched and searched online and I've come up with nothing. So I'm going back down to Caleb and I'm gonna I'm gonna just ask him if he knows how to get rid of him. And hopefully he knows the answer. Because I think Goblin Man is now attacking my voice. And we can't do that because if I don't have a voice, I can do videos. But if that's what he's trying to do, we better hurry. Okay, I made it into Caleb's room. Caleb, I have a question. Uh, I know what your question is. How do you know what my... Okay. I heard you talking and then... Well, I, oh. I can read it in my mind. It's what? how oh. to get rid of Goblin Man. 
Yes, that's creepy how you know, but yes. You drink a, you drink a s salt water. Tell me you're joking. Like, is, it, is that a joke? No. Like, like, what do you mean drink salt water? A cup of salt water with, uh, yeah. Why do I have to drink? Why, why would that get rid of Goblin Man if I have to drink it? He won't bother you. You know what? I'm willing to try anything, so I'm going to trust you. Let's go, guys. All right, thank you, Caleb, and uh, wish me luck, I guess. Okay, guys, I've got my water. I've got my salt. Now we got to put it together. Uh, I don't know how much salt to do, so I guess I'm just going to do a lot. There's Caleb. Oh, I'm going to have to drink that. Let's mix it together so it's a little better. I can smell it. Guys, give this video a like if you drink this. Or give this video a like if you Wait, wouldn't drink this. Watch. Do you see this, Caleb? See how the salt is in here? I'm gonna have to drink this, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, I've got the drink. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh, that's horrible. Okay. I just drank the salt water and it's still... Ah. Guys, subscribe and give this video a like because I just drank salt water so I wouldn't ever lose my voice and not be able to do YouTube videos for you guys. Okay. I hope it works. Okay, guys. Let's hope I get all my stuff back tonight because I do not want to sleep with no sheets. That'll be horrible. Hope you guys like this video. Give this video a like and subscribe and... um. Don't go looking for Goblin Man in the woods because he might follow you home and steal all your stuff. All right, guys, stay tuned to see if I get my stuff back. Peace out. Hey, guys, it's me, Aubrey, from Fun and Crazy Kids. And today, if you remember from last video, I'm going to have a quick recap. Of what <laughs> I just saw oh. something move down there. Did you see that? No, but yes. it's looking real creepy down there. Look, I just saw some move. Okay, look, you guys. <gasps> okay. This is so creepy. I stab in the back! Where? Guys, I searched everywhere for my dad and I could not find him. Guys, look what it is. My. The door is open. Guys, I shut the door when I. So, back from that recap, uh, today we are uh, investigating the Goblin Man again because i woke up this morning and my stuff was still gone if you guys don't remember what my room looked like here's what it looked like oh my gosh guys the worst thing just happened to me i just got back home and all of my stuff is missing literally all of my stuff yeah none of the stuff was there my bed was gone my dresser was gone all of my clothes in my dresser was gone my bedside table was gone literally everything was gone even my sheets and stuff were gone so, I don't know. Um, I, I had to wear the same exact clothes I was wearing last video because I don't have anything. So, there's been some reports around the neighborhood of some mischievous, like, behavior. Some think it's some teenagers, like, messing around. I think it's Goblin Man, and we're going to find out today. So, let's do it. But before we start this video, you can see my reflection in the back. Give this video a like and subscribe in five, four, three, two, one. I hope you guys did it. All right, let's go investigate the Goblin Man again. We still have our Christmas lights up, but only one side is working. We've got over here that's lit up, and then over here it's not. So I think Goblin Man has something to do with that, and I don't like that. But anyways, we're gonna go on, and we're gonna try to see if we can find Goblin Man maybe. Well, I don't really wanna find him, but you guys know what I mean. So it's been a crazy past couple of days because well, obviously, Goblin Man uh, decided to make an appearance in my house and steal my stuff. So I hope that hasn't happened to you guys. I hope you took my warning and did not go investigate Goblin Man in the woods. Because you don't want your stuff missing like I do. It's not very fun. Okay, I'm going to go over here because I feel like Goblin Man, if he were to, like, stay in my house, I don't think he would stay in the attic anymore because that's where I thought he was. Oh, a dog's barking. Okay, that's a little creepy. Um, I think he would stay in somewhere creepy over there. Like the sewers. So we are going to go over there and we're going to investigate. So I hope I can find myself soon because I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt right now. And it is really cold outside. I'm freezing. 
Um, and if I have to go to school, I can't go to school tomorrow in just this. If I go to school tomorrow in just this, I'm supposed to wear a uniform at school, so that's not gonna work. Okay, um, the dog is like barking more and more and it's the closer I get and it's creeping me out. Okay guys, I want you guys to give this video a like and tell me if you see anything at all. I'm gonna go down here, trying not to stop. That was not water, that was actually mud. Okay, well we're just gonna ignore that little, little incident. Do you guys see anything? Looks like it goes to the other side. I'm gonna go check the other side. Okay, it's getting really, really cold, so I'm gonna try to hurry. Oh, it's windy up here. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and check the other side to see if maybe there's any like remnants of him, maybe like some food he ate, maybe trash. I don't know, but let's look. I really hope I don't slip and fall again like I just did. Um, oh, there's a bunch of leaves. That's creepy. Do you guys see anything at all? Anything. Okay. I think I'm gonna go check up there too. Guys, I think one of these videos, I, I've heard an urban legend about down there. So if you guys wanna see that, make, make sure to let me know. All right, let's go back up here. Okay, so this is a really creepy one because like, it looks like bars on the top of it. Wait, do you guys see that? Hold on, let's move down. There's like trash. There's, what is that? 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 Oh my goodness. It looks like a candle. I don't know what that is, but it looks like trash. And that can only mean one thing. Gobble Man has been down here. Uh oh, okay. Um, so we know he's been over here. So let's look onward and see if we can find any more. I think I'm gonna look by these trees. Cause I think I see some, I think I see some trash over there. So maybe like we can figure some stuff out like what the Gobble Man eats and stuff. And then if we have to lure him in, catch him to get my stuff back let's go oh that's always creepy when the wind picks up and you can hear the leaves rustling okay there's some random rocks just thrown over here we got some trash and then look at that that looks like a horn well that's creepy but i don't see anything that could make us think goblin man was here so Maybe, maybe we should look around the house. I feel like, I feel like he would maybe be like on the side of the house. Guys, look, it's not just the trees. It's the bushes over there or like there's lights and then over here it doesn't work. So I think that's a good, like that, that's a sign that maybe the goblin man went over here. Cause if he went over here, maybe the lights would stop working. But if he went over here, the lights would stop. So I, th I think we're getting closer. Okay. I'm getting a little scared. Not going to lie. Do you guys see anything? anything at all hmm so far i do not see anything um nothing to indicate goblin man has been here like a little creep i see oh there's branches everywhere there's literally branches everywhere so maybe maybe goblin man went over here maybe he climbed up a tree he climbed up a tree the branches fell and then that's all i got i don't know where else he went so guys, let's recap real quick. So, Goblin Man stole my stuff first off. Then he might have gone into the sewers, stayed there for a little bit, decided he didn't like it. Then came back over to the house. The lights started to not work because he came over here. And then he decided it was too cold and climbed up the tree and the branches are on the ground now. So, but where else would he be? Do you guys have any idea where else he would be? Because I'm not sure. Hmm, let's think for a second. The Goblin Man, I think he doesn't like the cold, if I remember correctly. So where would it be warm and where would a goblin go? The trash. Let's go. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. The Goblin Man obviously needs food. And so the trash would be perfect food for him because he's a goblin and he's gross. And it would be warm because it'd be... He would be in the trash can away from the cold and the wind. So, oh, the dog started. Hello? The dog started barking as soon as I got close to the trash can. So I think we're on the right track. Okay, guys, it's, it's getting more and more. Are you ready? Three, two, one. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing at all. Like. 
I don't know. I, I really, I really do not know. I mean, Caleb told me that I needed to drink salt water, and then I would get my stuff back. But what if the Goblin Man told him I needed to drink salt water just so he could get back at me for whatever reason, and I would just drink salt water, and then I wouldn't get my stuff back? I think I'm gonna have to buy new stuff. Oh no, guys. I'm gonna go back inside and try to figure something out from there. I really hope I can figure something out. Maybe I need to ask Caleb again if um, I'm to search online again, and hopefully something starts turns up um if i can't find anything i might have to ask caleb because caleb usually knows but um let's just go back into my room and try to get warm because it's freezing okay there's caleb's rambo thing in the back but we're gonna go back into my room guys what where's what should i check to see if any of my stuff's in here um what all of my stuff is in here guys did the salt water work? If, if it if it worked, then where's my stuff? Like where where is my like? I've got all my decorations. I've got my tree. I've got my gnome. I've got my candles. But I have a white bedside table and a white dresser. I don't. It's not brown. What if the Goblin Man like stole my stuff and then he stole somebody's stuff and then he switched? What? You know what, guys? I'm happy with this. I, I like my new bed. I like my new dresser. It's nice. I feel sorry for whoever got mine because it was really old and it was kind of like falling apart. So sorry if you got mine. Um, I'm not going to search for the Goblin Man anymore because I don't want him to take any of my stuff again. I'm going to keep this stuff and I'm going to hope the Goblin Man leaves me alone forever. I hope you guys like this video. Give this video a like and subscribe. And if you got my stuff, let me know because that's crazy. Peace out. What is he like warning me not to go down here because the Anataka's down here? Guys, the wind started blaring me. Do you see that black cat right there? Black cat. I just saw something that's on him. I gotta get out of here. That has to be a sign. That has to be a sign. It's just sitting there watching me. Guys, this video gets crazy. Hey guys, it's me, Aubrey from Fun and Crazy Kids, and today we are investigating another urban legend. But before I tell you guys what this urban legend is, give this video a like and subscribe and five, four, three, two, one. So if you guys remember from last video, it snowed everywhere. Well, all the snow is melted, but there's still ice all over right here so we have to be very careful when we walk over it okay guys i got my little uh jacket thing on because it's gonna be cold so today's urban legend is the anna taka so i'm sure you fun fans have remembered that we did investigate an urban legend called the kush taka and if you guys want to check that out be sure to check that out after this video because it's a really cool urban legend well the anna taka is a half werewolf half man that has wings crazy so the anataka is just a type of species like there's no like weird thing that's happened like you know pig man he like rolled down a hill and he like conjoined with the pig no they're just born half man half werewolf with wings so the story goes that if you encounter an anataka um he takes you like he flies overhead on the sky and he finds unsuspecting victims then he goes down he grabs them with his talons because he also has talons because he's like a werewolf and then he flies up with his wings and he brings you back to his cave and if you're taken by the anataka you're never seen again so this is a really creepy urban legend but um i figured we should do it so over by my house there is a road that leads to a dead end in the woods and it's really creepy down there and there's been sightings of a weird like bird-like creature and i have a feeling it's the anataka so we're gonna go investigate that and see if it is so guys while we walk over this hill i want to tell you guys that i have cameo if you guys don't know what cameo is it is a personalized message from me caleb or my mom my dad or even lola where you can buy a personalized message from one of us and we'll say hi happy birthday or anything that you want us to so make sure to go check out cameo if you'd like a special message from us because it's super cool okay we've made it over the hill there's my house okay so we're going 
that way. It's super creepy, but we're gonna do it anyways, guys. We're gonna become, I don't know, but we, we can't let the scariness get to us because we gotta investigate for you. Okay, so I gotta stay on the grass because sometimes cars come down here, like right there. That's kind of creepy. It's like they knew they knew I said a car comes back here. Anyways, we're gonna stay on the grass so we don't get ran over because then we can find the Anataka. Okay, there goes the car, but we're going all the way down there. So it's gonna be a long ways. Hopefully we do not encounter the Anataka and then I can't escape. That would be bad. So I'm gonna look up in the sky and tell me if you guys see anything at all out of the ordinary. Because the Anataka, he really, he really just hides in the sky. His color is usually, it like changes colors. Guys, his like color changes colors. He doesn't stay the same color. You know how when uh, winter foxes, when it's winter and it's snowy, their color turns white and then when it's not, it's gray. Well, he does the same thing, except when it's cloudy, his color turns gray like the clouds. But when it's sunny, his color turns blue like the sky. So it's really hard to spot him. You only spot him when he's coming down to get you so let's hope that doesn't happen okay it's quite a long walk down here it's gonna be lots of lots of walking but it's okay because i will do all of this for you guys okay if you guys can see right there all of the woods look how creepy that is i don't know what that is right there but i can't go look because that's somebody's property but that's a bit creepy and there's snow right there which is super random because there's snow nowhere else that's creepy. Whenever I started recording, a bunch of wind came. And you know, guys, you know whenever I recorded... Oh, listen, listen. It, like, got more and more as I kept talking about it. That's creepy. Did you hear that? Okay, guys, let's just keep going. Okay, the wind keeps blowing everywhere. Um... Which I don't know if that's a good sign because he has wings and maybe the wind will help him glide with his wings. So that's a bit creepy, but we've almost made it to our destination. We're going to search for him and see if he is there because I have a feeling he might be. Okay, right up ahead where you can see that stop sign. Oh, did you hear that dog? Okay, well, right up ahead, that's where we're going. So huh, let's do it. Guys, they just came out of nowhere. Oh, that's creepy. What is he like warning me not to go down here because the Anataka's down here? Well, it doesn't matter because we gotta go for you guys. So, you know what? We're just not gonna listen to the dogs, which is probably not a good idea, but we're just gonna do it anyways. Guys, the wind started blaring, but do you see that black cat right there? Oh my goodness. That's... That has to be a sign. That has to be a sign. It's just sitting there watching me, and then the wind started blowing as soon as I saw it. I don't know guys, but I think we're getting close. Guys, the tree, oh, black cat. <gasps> hi kitty. Hi, hi kitty. Hi. So I got closer and closer and this black cat just ran over to me. Well, the black cat's sweet. It reminds me of my old cat, Loco, if you guys remember, Loco. Loco was sweet. This kind of looks like Loco. Hi, buddy. Maybe the cat will follow me. Maybe the cat's going to protect me. The black cat is following me um, as we make our way down to the stop sign where I think the Anatok is going to be. Well, guys, that's not a sign. I don't know what is. We've made it. Me and my little companion. We've made it. Made it. You guys see there's woods everywhere. I'm gonna go walk over here, but be careful because, oh, do you hear that noise? Oh, the cat just stayed. The cat isn't walking anymore. Oh, okay, no, 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 it is, okay. All right, guys, if you see anything at all, don't be shy to tell me. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Do you guys see anything in the sky, anything in the trees? Maybe the cat does. The cat just stood in front of me. He's like staring forward. I don't know. I just saw something in the woods. I literally just saw something right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. What is it? <gasps> Did you hear that? <gasps> There's like a car going off in the woods, guys. That's just woods. There's no cars over there. Oh, my. There's like caution tape. 
Okay, I think I should head back. Oh, oh, the cat's... Okay, no, I I'm going back, I'm going back. Guys, the cat keeps, like, running away. Like, it keeps looking back there and running away. Look, it's doing it again. Okay, this is this is bad. Wait, look, it keeps doing it. Okay, I need to get out of here now. The dogs are going crazy. And the cat is, like, running. Oh, my goodness. The cat's running away. The dogs are going crazy. What is that? What is that? I just saw something that's not human. I gotta get out of here. The dog stopped. Something's following me. I'm running as fast as I can. I gotta get home. Do you see all those birds? I gotta go. I'm almost home. Someone's been following me. I see it. Guys, it's over the sky. It's gonna get me. I'm to make it inside. It's coming. The door's locked! It's coming! I made it back home! It didn't get me, but I saw it! Am I the first one who sees that? The Anataka and I didn't, like, get taken! Guys, do not go looking for the Anataka! Give this video a like and subscribe and stay tuned because I don't know what's gonna happen! Peace out!